Right, we're going to try a few uh, new weekly segments now on the show, and this one, we're calling it Blog Off. <laughs> it highlights two of the best blogs in Canada, Five Feet of Fury and Blazing Cat Fur. And, uh, and believe me, you're millions of people over there going to these two blogs. They're extremely influential. The Five Feet of Fury herself is our special guest, Kathy Shadle. Hi. Um, now, this T-shirt is brand new, apparently. Yes, I just got it yesterday in time to wear it uh, on the show. And, and it, uh, I, I took it, I, I walked all the way across downtown Toronto and I only got one response and it was a cute, blonde, young construction worker going, right on, which right. is the only time a construction worker has ever even looked at me sideways yes. in 50 years. So. And uh, apparently he's outside bound with that <laughs> tape right. and he's you're taking him back. home with oh, you. Yeah, totally. It's not racist if it's true. Well, there you go. I mean, there's a reason that Germans are the ones bailing out the Greeks and not the other way around. Right? <laughs> well, who gave us democracy? <laughs> I think those must have been other Greeks. The people who used to live in Greece <laughs> before right. all the layers of invasion over the years. Yeah, no comment. Yeah. Well, come a bit, you know, the the, the true, Romans though. are not the original Romans. The Greeks aren't the original Greeks. We, no. we, everyone's moved around, for goodness sake. Exactly, yeah. yes. I Let's, mean, it, yeah. The, the people of the, the, the Arabs, you think they're, they're from Arabia, Syria, Iraq, Egypt? They're, those people, they're not Ar they're Arabs now when Islam conquered. Ooh, I love all this. But I know, it's exciting. The indigenous people of Egypt are quite fair-skinned. They're the Coptic Christians. The Arabs yeah. are invaders. They're Occupying the territory. I End know. the occupation, I say. That's right. Take back the pyramids. Anyway, hello. For the Jews. Let's, well, speaking of Jews, uh, our friend Bernie Farber, who oh. used to be head of the Canadian Jewish Congress, mm -hmm. when, I mean, it really, it, it, it just lost its direction, I think. Y it, it, yes. It was so close to the left, and, and there was a, a, a maturity, a growing up, and they've got rid of it. It, it was so focused on Section 13 hate crimes yeah. and these half dozen imaginary Nazis that I think it just lost its way. Right. And now um, the rumour on the street, yes. uh, as if anyone cares, is that Bernie uh, would now like to be head of the Ontario Human Rights Commission. Mm -hmm. I don't know if that's true or not, but it is interesting. He ran as a Liberal candidate in a riding that was very difficult to win. Yes. And uh, I wonder if there had been any sort of pre-election discussion with the leader of the party. But now he keeps going to sort of lefty things and appearing and writing in the Huffington Post, which is fair enough, but it's free. I mean, you don't, you're not paid for it. No, so you, I get paid for everything I write. Yeah, me too. I don't believe in free speech. <laughs> so you wrote for it when you have, Do we have any photos? Oh, there's Bernie. Bernie Farber attends Pride Parade. Now, Bernie's not homosexual, um, but he's there. In his, and so if you want to be head of the Human Rights Commission, the, the real issue to push would be that of homosexuality. I think you? so. They seem to be the pet of the year. Uh, as I keep wondering, people like Mark Stein keep wondering, Muslims are the growing favorite pet, yeah. you know. Uh, and so what happens when those two clash at one of these Human Rights Commission uh, hearings? Mm. It, it'll be interesting to see. Bernie always gets in trouble for the t-shirts he wears on Pride. He, Mark Stein started like a national, international incident by making fun of Bernie's shirt last year, which was, nobody knows I'm gay. Yeah. And he's straight. But anyway, uh, now he's got... Uh, it's not even funny. It's just well, stupid. Well, I know. It's very, it's very <laughs> stupid. It's supposed to be ironic. And, and this year, I thought it was kind of typical progressive wearing a t-shirt that says I'm a, a Marxist of the Groucho sort which I don't think, <laughs> which hasn't been trendy since I think the Johnson administration right. but oh well progressives mm. are always on the cutting edge of cool it's and a bit hip. sad really um, aging hipsters now what about this kid who apparently was a conservative and has become a liberal this is on your blog as well yeah it's really sad um, it's it's even sadder when conservatives are so desperate to find new heroes that they embrace people like this a few years ago there was this young man he was 13 years old Ugh. he went to CPAC wearing his little you CPAC know is uh, the... the conservative uh, political action committee right. it's the, it's it's basically nerd prom for uh, conservatives Okay. in the States, and it's where you go to kind of make a name for yourself. And he got up and gave a speech, and he was wearing this little um, George Will clone, you know, with the, the bow tie, Alex P. Keaton, and he was like the he young... He to be beaten up. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And he was like the face of young conservatives. Well, you know, yesterday it came out that he's got a new book out, out called How to Beat Conservatives, and he's a, he's a liberal now, because guess what? He's 17 years old. And he probably couldn't find a girl that, you know, who was... Yeah, yeah, so he's become a liberal. And so now he's a liberal, and, you know, that's fine. What I remember the most though was when that video came out and the hundreds of comments I read on uh, right-wing sites going it's the future of conservatism uh, and it's like you're so lame this is why we don't win stuff because you're so lame. But, you know many many years ago at the Conservative Party conference in the United Kingdom a, a kid stood up and made this really hard line uh, conservative speech and he is now the British Foreign Secretary for the Conservative government so sometimes it <laughs> oh well, it does work okay it does, yeah, yeah. 
Now, uh, what else has been on your blog? What, oh, other, what other hatred have you been spewing? Well, I haven't really been uh, spewing as much hatred as uh, people on the streets of gay pride. We have a video up that was sent to my husband, Blazing Cat Fur, and it's a 14-minute video of peaceful Christians standing on the corner of what looks to me like Wellesley and Young. Oh, I wasn't aware of this. On pride. And they have a sign that says Jesus loves everybody or something. And he, you know, the guy's standing there and he's, you know, talking. This was not Fred Phelps. This was not, no, um, just I, I hate those people too. Oh, yeah. We These were just, they're just standing there. Jesus loves you. Oh, yeah. Jesus loves you. Right. The pol eight cops come, tell the guy to move on. He starts saying, Charter of Rights and Freedoms. Move along, sir. You're causing a disturbance. Now, meanwhile, there are these lesbians surrounding him yell yelling swear words at him. I hate you. I hope you die. Uh, Christians killed millions of witches. That fabulous, <laughs> that, that, that awesome line. Right. Um, and nothing was done to them. They were very threatening. But it was eight cops, uh, one of whom took uh, one of the Christians' cameras and then denied taking it. They, on, ca on another camera. Yeah, they've done that with pro-lifers too. Exactly. They fly through their teeth. And, yeah. and they, they do stuff like that with pro-Israel rallies that I've been at. We've right. been told, you're the problem. You're going to have to move. We can't guarantee your safety. You're causing a disturbance. I swear there were like more cops than there were Christians right. on the corner. So the number of people who were completely naked, and it's, it's more than last year, we think. Yes. There are many gay people who boycott it now. Which because, is illegal. Yeah. Uh, showing everything to children. Not arrested. But uh, a guy who just says... Jesus loves you. Yeah, and he, I have to say, I watched 14 minutes of it. This guy is so calm and so articulate, you can't believe it. Because in, in his shoes, I would have been a lot angrier than he was. And he just keeps saying to people, but I just want to talk to you. What, mm. What's your pro? He's trying to have a dialogue, and they're yelling, you should die, I hate your guts. And, yeah. and the cops are just like, sir, you're the problem, sir. If you just wouldn't provoke people, none of this would happen. And confiscating his stuff. <sighs> Tough life being a cop these days. Uh, you're going to come back next week as well because sure. I think you're amazing. Oh, thank and you. And do you like the title "Blog Off"? Sure, that sounds great. We need some kind of horrible, right. obscene graphic. Well, you know to go what, Kathy? It. Blog off. Okay, <laughs> you too. <laughs>